Hey guys, Nick from Stoltec Moto here with our 2023 Suron Ultra B. Today we're going to talk over how to make some adjustments using the onboard menu on the bike. You can do quite a bit of adjustment here. I want to walk you through some of these things. So if you have an owner's manual that might not be in English, or if you're still confused after reading it, hopefully we can help you out. So the first thing you want to do, have the bike turned off. That's off with the ignition switch. Have your side stand down. Turn the switch on. Let the bike load. Now, simultaneously, you're gonna use the ready button on the right switch, on the right grip switch. You're gonna use the ASR button on the left grip switch. You're gonna hold them down simultaneously for a second or two till the menu engages. And there we are. First option is B. This stands for the amount of regen on the brakes. Using the right switch, you could cycle through. Zero for off. One, two, three, four, five, and increasing levels of regen. Again, this is regen while on the brakes. Use the left switch to cycle to the next item. This is E. I like to think of this as engine braking. Again, same thing. Using the right switch, you could turn it off with zero, and then you could turn it up as you move up to level five. Pretty cool you could change those. Very easy settings. Left switch again, brings you to the next item, which is ASR or traction control. You don't need to make this change through this menu, but it's another option if you wanted to. And as you can see, you could adjust all three levels here. You're gonna press the left button again, bring you to P. This is gonna be the brake override. This is turned off right here at zero. Turn it on with the one. This is basically what cuts the motor when you use the brakes. Most people probably won't want this, but certainly if you're new to it, if you want to be a little safer, or if you're trying to get somebody trained on the bike who hasn't ridden before, it's a nice safety feature so that the engine power is cut when the brakes are hit. Next item, C mode is the tilt protection or the bank angle sensor. So basically when the bike is laying on its side after a crash, this will kill the motor to essentially prevent you from getting hurt. And I just, uh, was talking too long so I lost your menu there but you can get back into it real easy just hold those two buttons again and cycle through we were on C so zero that's turned off one it's turned on press the left button again you can be brought to the F mode which is the throttle sensitivity this is only used in sport mode there are three settings one two three one being the least sensitive two being the middle, three being the most sensitive, but again, only in sport mode. Press the left button, you're brought into the T mode, which is for your test report mode, diagnostics, zero is off, one is on. Left button again brings you to the next one. This is actually kind of a pretty cool feature here. This allows you to set your charge speed, one being your slowest, two being the mid, three being the fastest. So one will give you 480 watts, two is 750 watts, and three is 1150, excuse me, 1100 watts. So 480, 750, or 1100, that could be useful if you're charging from an outlet that might not have the current that you're looking for, or if you just want to charge it faster or slower to preserve the battery or to get a quick charge out of it. So you got some options there. And as you can see, that's the end of the menu. And basically, it'll time out after 10 seconds. If you want to get back into it, just do what I did before. Hold those two buttons, and you're back in the mode. And you could cycle through them using your switches till you're happy. The other thing that you could do if you want to get out of it is just put the side stand up, and it'll do the same thing as waiting 10 seconds. But you can do quite a bit there with that menu. Hopefully, that helps you guys a little bit. It's not too hard to use once you get used to it. Another couple things I want to show you guys. We'll do three, actually. We're gonna show you how to do the clock if you wanna set your time. So with the bike turned on, you wanna hold the M button, which is the top, for two seconds. And hopefully you can see that, that zero nine is flashing. Basically, you're gonna use the S button to increase. to whatever time you want there on your hours. Press the M, that'll take you to the minutes. Same thing, press the S button to change your minutes. Press the M button, to set the clock, and that's all there is to it.
Next, we're gonna show you guys how to adjust the speed to change your units from either miles to kilometers or vice versa. So with the bike turned off with the switch, you're gonna press and hold the M button and then turn the bike on. And you're gonna watch in the gauge cluster here, it'll cycle from miles per hour. Miles per hour, excuse me. I can't talk today. It's just been a long day. To kilometers per hour. And then obviously you can switch it back using the same process. Hold the M, turn on the switch, and it'll go back from kilometers to miles per hour. Next thing you could do, same operation but a different button. If you want to change the transmission speed ratio, maybe you change sprockets, maybe you change a rear tire, or maybe it's just not reading accurate from the factory if your speed doesn't match your GPS. Press and hold the S button, turn the bike on. It's set to one from the factory. You're gonna see that it blinks there, right? And you can see by pressing the S button, it goes down in an increment of 0.1. Press the M button, it goes up by an increment of 0.1. So you can play with this if you make changes to your sprocket or your tire. It's a neat little feature that you don't have to buy anything else additional to make that happen. Before I let you go, a couple things that I realized I missed here that might be useful for some of you guys. This bike has a cool feature, which we talked about, called reverse. Pretty neat, especially if you get stuck somewhere you want to turn around. So the question is, how do you get in there? Well, step one. Turn the bike on, that's in the run mode. Press the ready button. There we go, it says ready. Simply press and hold for two seconds, you're gonna hear a knock. Now the bike, as long as you hold that switch, when you twist the grip, it'll go backwards. Very easy to do. Now it's off. Back on, in reverse. Back and forward mode. And you'll see up here that when you're in reverse, you get that R up top. Very easy to use. Next thing I wanna show you is traction control. So this is actually pretty cool. I kinda of like this feature. Using the ASR trigger here, you could turn it on or off by hitting that button three times. Three times it goes on, three times it goes off. Now, if you wanna run with this thing out of traction control mode, but you wanna use it momentarily, maybe you got a slippery section, you got some mud or something, you can hold the button down and it'll turn it on until you release the switch. Kind of a neat feature. Press the button, it stays on as long as you hold it down. But now if you wanna turn it on three times, it's turned on. If you'd like to cycle through the different settings without going into the other menu that we just showed you, you can use this button again, press it twice and it cycles through first level second level, third level. So some neat features here that might not be obvious. They weren't obvious to me anyway until I started to play with it. So anyway, that'll be it. The video is finally over. Hopefully that helps you guys. If you have any questions, as I said, drop a comment down below, like and subscribe. If not, that's fine, no problem, but certainly ride safe and we'll talk to you guys soon.